Okay, cool. So today we're going to simply run a run a listing Facebook ad and get everything set up straight to a straight to a landing page. So perfect. So yeah, post goes on the business page first and then there's the link to the landing page, post it and and then and then we'll go straight into the ads manager. Actually, yeah, not now, not now, not now. Yeah, not now because we're going to add it once we when we set up the actual ad. Perfect. Yeah, let's open up Kartra because one thing that you always, always want to make sure you do, um, it can happen prior to the ad or just during the ad or even after the ad, whatever. But but really, the, 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 the steps that I really teach is step one, post it on the business page first, right? That's step one. And then step two, set up the ad. That's step two. And then step three is to take the links and create your custom audiences and your custom conversion. Actually, to tell you the truth, that's step two. Because we got to set up the custom conversion before we set up the ad. So step one, post on the page. Step two, create your custom audiences. And the custom audience will be the, around the landing page and the thank you page. And then also set up your custom conversion around the thank you page. That's step two. And then step three is you run the ad. So here, let's grab, um, click on pages. And we're going to simply um, <clears throat> just grab the link. We're, we're going to just copy the link. So we're, we need the landing page and we need the thank you page. So we'll just get cop get coder link, copy the link, and then just open up that link in a new tab. We want that link up at the top. So we'll get the um <clears throat> we'll get the landing page and we'll get the um the thank you page. Okay, awesome. So it's these two links, right? It's these two new links that need to be set up as as audiences, and then it's a thank you page that needs to set up at, that needs to be set up as the custom conversion. So this is step two before you run the ad. So so let's go back to the ads, or actually let's open up another tab and we'll go to the ads manager. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ads manager and then we'll come straight to um the dashboard and we'll go we'll click on the three lines at the top left. So we'll always make sure we're in the right account. Um is this the right one? So you just have this one ad in there? Wrong one. This is a uh, different yeah, different actually one. that's a different one. So let's just um hit that drop down Oscar Martinez. Yeah, and we'll just go to the other account, see more ad accounts. Perfect. There's the Oscar sold it. Okay, cool. So three lines in the top left, and then we'll just click on audiences. Okay. I think we already set this up too, man. Wait, no, it wasn't for this. It was for the new leads. That's what it was. Yeah. See, so you got the star red ones. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do this one. So create audience, the blue dot. I mean, the blue dot, the blue button, and then custom audience. And then, um, yeah, website next. Okay, cool. And then, um, the events we're gonna hit that drop down. The second one, yeah, go to specific. And then in here, the thirty, you can leave it. Thirty is is good enough. Thirty is good. And so, what we want to do here is we want to do we're gonna do both links on this specific one step. So grab the link for the um for the landing page and you only need the domain, not the www or yeah, just the Oscar sold it. But I think when you copy it that way, I think the H I think everything came with it, but paste it in. Yeah, see everything came with it. So just take away the www. Yeah, so you just need that. Perfect. And then um that's the um that's for the landing page. Now here's what we want to do to make it super specific. And this really only applies for the custom audience of the landing page. So, so again, it's specific. So what we want to do is we want to exclude. So exclude people. We're going to exclude. This is going to be an audience of only those who land on this page only. Okay. And we're going to exclude those who land. So the, the events hit that, go back down to specific. And then the 30, change that to max that out at 180. Because what we're doing here is we're excluding those who actually opted in, who actually landed on the thank you page. So now grab the link for the thank you page. So, so they've only landed on the landing on the opt-in, never landed over here. Okay, so actually, you know what? And that's not that's not the link. That's not the link. So let's um <clears throat> let's go back to Karcher real quick. Okay, now that link goes there, and then um and then and then go ahead and, and give it a name. So this one is 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 um yeah audience name. This is um this is simply landing page visitors only, and then put the address so you know you know you know which one it is, but um landing page visitors landing page visitors only, and then in parentheses the address, so landing page visitors only, um and then and then maybe the yeah the address in 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 parentheses perfect 
Okay, cool. So that's that audience. That's that audience. Create audience. Now the second audience, click on done. Do it again. Click the blue button in the top left. Create audience. So we're going to do the second audience, custom audience. And that's going to be the thank you page. So website. And then here, there's nothing to exclude. It's just um, website visitors. Change that to specific. And then now this is where we're going to max out the 30 to 180. Because I always, I want people to, to, to remain in this audience as long as possible. And 180 is the max. So, so this is the landing page. I mean, the thank you page. So just paste in that thank you page link. And then the audience is simply um, 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 leads. Like I put probably put the address 3924 Bonita Road leads and, and maybe in parentheses leads. So 3924. So this is, this is always going to be. So this could be an audience in the future that you always exclude. You know, because these are people, these are people, and you would, and you would, some people say, well, David, why wouldn't I just run an ad to these people? You can for sure, but you don't need to, because then you'll be spending more. I already have their email. They're already leads. So, so that same post, for example, like, for example, let's say this, let's say, go ahead and create audience. Um, Let's say, for example, this was our, 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 um, let's say you already had a listing, right? Let's say you rent, you have a listing page, click on done. Let's say you have, um, and this is this is three nine two four Bonita Road. Let's say two weeks ago you ran an ad on a listing, and that was for Winchester Way. Mm -hmm. Same two pages, landing page, thank you page. You create a custom audience around those who land on the thank you page, and now I'm telling you to exclude that audience from seeing three nine two four Bonita Road. Right. Right. And, and and some people would, would want to include it. Some because that listing may let's say went under contract last week. It only went under contract to one person. But let's say you 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 got 47 leads from it. Right. And so one would be thinking, well, why not just continue to target those other people and, and just leave them in, in your in your audience and just continue to target them? You'd spend more because now as I go on, on to ad number two, three nine two four Benito Road people that landed on the thank you page, I'm going to exclude them because I don't want to spend more in advertising. I'm going to exclude them because I already have their email. If anything, I'm going to just take the same post and send an email to them, right? Send the email to the 37 people that didn't buy that first property. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of make sense? Where, where I'd rather just show them. And, and it's the same, like, like go to, go to the Facebook page. What I would do is again, and that's, this might sound a little confusing, but let's say, for example, again, we have two listings and, and it's been it's been it's been 60 days. Last month we ran listing number one. This month we're running this listing, listing number two. Last month I got a bunch of leads off of that, off of that listing at last month. So now David's saying exclude that audience, exclude that lead audience from seeing this next ad because we already have the leads. So what I would do is I would right now, probably today, I would send a freaking email to the to the leads that i captured last month on this new property hey dave this and and i would exclude the one lead that bought the house obviously i would exclude the one lead who bought last month's listing because now i got i got 37 leads that did not that all came in from last month's ad but they didn't buy that property only one family bought that property so now i'm now i'm setting up this next ad today 3924 and now all i'm going to do is just set a broadcast email to all those leads and and what I would do is I simply could just click them, click, send them to this one to, to this one page. Watch, click on the image, click on the actual image. That could be a link. I would send out a broadcast email, and I can just send them to this link, or I can send them to the landing page. I could do that too. I can I can easily send out a broadcast email. Hey John, I know you I know you checked out my listing last month. I got a new listing on the market. Click here to see all the details. That's a broadcast email. That would, be an, that would be an email that went out to all the leads that I captured last month. Those are all the leads that are on this, that are in this custom audience of leads. Right. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. So once once I have them already in my system, there's no way, there's no reason to keep on trying to target them. No, that's why I want you to create a custom audience around the leads and exclude them from seeing future ads. Gotcha. Because you could just email them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so... Perfect. So, so now we have two custom audiences. Now we have two custom audiences, the, the, the landing page and the, and the, and the um, thank you page. Now go back to the, to the thank you page, get that link. We need to copy it. I don't know if you already have it copied, but, but yeah, let's just copy it. So now we got to set up the custom conversion. Um, so now you click the three lines to the left and you'll always do the custom conversion to run a thank you page. 
Okay, so it's always around the thank you page. It's just letting Facebook know, hey, out of these two pages, you're going to go to events manager. Out of these two pages, it's the thank you page that's the most important. I'm trying to get people to land on this thank you page. This is my custom conversion. So all you're going to do is events manager and then hover over the triangle to the left and um, click on custom conversions. Okay, cool. So now here, you're going to simply create custom conversion. And then um, go to name it, put the address. And what I tend to do around uh, on naming the custom conversion is I'll name it exactly what I named the custom audience. Mm -hmm. Like, what was the name of the custom audience for the thank you page? Like that that's just uh, one way to do it. Four, and I put thank you leads. Yeah, so 3924 Bonita. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. And then come down to the blue link, select your own category, and then just scroll down till you find leads. Yeah, recommended. And then come down to leads. And then all you're gonna do is paste in that link. Okay, so now there's a few steps. Uh actually you just need the yeah, you just need the domain. So um let's see if we can grab just the domain. Well, I have to do that. Okay, cool. So now here, go to web configure. No, 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 not done. Go to web configurations. Okay, so now here, this is just the, the final step. Um, and then we can run the ad. So here, you're going to simply click on the oscarsoda.com. So click on that one and then um, manage events and then edit. And then you're going to add event. And then um, it's this next one right here. So just hit that drop down to the, yeah that drop down and then come down to custom conversion and then choose an event and you'll see your new custom conversion and then apply to the bottom right and then yes i confirm and apply and we're good okay cool so now okay and now it's time to go and set up the ad so three lines to the left and go to the ads manager we'll just click on the green uh, create button and we'll be on our way cool so over here we're going to go leads and then continue, and then we're gonna simply um, choose your category, your special ad category, and that'll be housing. And then next, actually countries, you could just, it should already, it should have been US by default, but yeah, US is, yeah, that's all you need, US. And then, um, yeah, check the box for US and then just hit next. Okay, awesome. Sure. I don't know why it's not showing there, but it, it it's checked. It's checked. So just you can. Do I uh, have to edit this for option or anything? No, none of that. Just click on next, the blue one. Okay, cool. So now we're on the second step, where we're gonna simply uh, make sure that that blue dot is website, and then you can start naming it at the top as well. The audience name or the the ad set name. I, I should say the ad set name. Um, and and on each one, like on the on the on the the top one, the top left, new leads campaign. I would have named that probably just the address, and then I would have put in parentheses leads. And then here on the second one, this is where you'll just you'll just simply put maybe the the, the address and and maybe the budget amount. Just a little brief description. Um, that's it. Perfect. And then um, and then scroll down to so website, and then there's your pixel, and then the conversion event. You'll just click inside conversion event. And you'll find your new custom conversion. Or do I do anything here? Yeah, click, and then you'll you'll see the drop down. So there's your new custom conversion, and that's it. So we'll scroll down, and then the daily budget. You can go to lifetime budget, and then just go one fifty lifetime. That's for two weeks, yeah. Yeah, but change out that daily budget. So hit that drop oh. down for daily. <laughs> Go live dollars a day. Can you imagine? There you go. And then, and then I would start at the. I would start it tomorrow, bro. Like I would go first thing in the morning, like six a.m. Are you Eastern or Central? You're Eastern. Uh, Eastern. Yeah, you are Eastern. Yeah, so six a.m. and then just let that thing run, man. Let it run. I I probably let it run for the rest of the month, or maybe even run it for a month. Because at one fifty you're spending well one fifty you're spending five bucks a day so that's really not a lot for a thirty day period maybe just run it for the rest of the month First go month. from the yeah go from the twentieth to the or the tenth excuse me the tenth to the thirty first okay. and, and always match up the time so six a.m. to six a.m. 
yeah so. perfect cool and then and then scroll down and then um the age you can't change the location for sure change the location right right right, right. uh is it living in this location right or we should have you can go i would i would probably go that one living in or recently in because people are probably driving through looking at properties that live in in different areas you know exactly yeah so, so so yeah it's not united states it would be um and here's what i would do too man i would and and there's there's two different ways you can do this you can either put in the city so you can easily put in columbus and just and just build 15 miles around quote unquote columbus or you can actually put in the address the actual physical address and just target 15 miles around the physical address that's what my my facebook rep recommended is to actually put in the address um Yeah, and then always see address. So you're yeah, you see place, place, place. Yeah, keep going until you actually see address. Yeah, see, so 15 miles. Uh, well, 15 miles is the minimum, but you can go you can go maximum as high as you want around that address. Um, 15, is 15 good? Yeah. Okay, cool. So no no age, no gender, no detail targeting necessary. Um advantage this is where you can this is this is one form of testing um and so here's what i would do i would i would just go manual placement like i wouldn't let facebook place it everywhere um if you were spending maybe double that then maybe advantage and and let facebook place it everywhere but but if but it, but at that budget just go all in in the news feed like you can go you can go you can maybe you can maybe target instagram as well um the image really isn't isn't really optimized for Instagram because that's more of a that's more of a widescreen that's a, that's a that's a that's a widescreen image right it's a um, freaking landscape kind of widescreen it's not a, it's not that vertical image for Instagram but it'll still look it'll still look okay on Instagram okay. So, so just go Instagram feed and Facebook feed that's it so uncheck yeah leave those two check and uncheck everything else everything else you're gonna uncheck everything else. Um, at the top, you can really start at the top. So start at the top messenger and audience network, uncheck those two. That will really help you out. So uncheck that one, uncheck that one. Perfect. And then leave those two top two, and then just come down, uncheck everything out. This two, right? Yeah. Yeah. perfect yeah and you're and you're good you're good perfect okay cool and then and then next and see so in this case bro it's good to go back and forth image video image video but but i'm telling you man you you got you got you got you got video on lock bro like 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 you run this one but but let's just say let's just say you know it doesn't perform as well as as we hope and, and the whole month goes by Go out there and do a video, bro. Like I, I, if I were you, bro, you got that. You're that young, cute look. Dude, I would take over the whole city if I were you, bro, with video alone. Like people are gonna fall in love with you, bro. Like you got that look. Like you need to freaking take advantage of that video shit, bro. You gotta take advantage of your freaking looks. Like no homo, like no homo. But like you need to be freaking doing video up the ass, like for sure, for sure. Like this should have been a video, you know. But it's all good. We're gonna do image for sure. But in the future. Keep your shit simple with, with selfie style videos, bro. You, you're going to dominate with video. That's just my professional opinion. So, so Instagram account, hit that drop down and then choose your IG and then, and then that, yeah, IG and then create ad, hit that drop down and go use existing post and then select post. And then let's see if it's up here. There it is there. Perfect. December 9th. Okay, cool. That's the one. Continue. Awesome and then add your call to action button and that's and that's your landing page this over here right yep and you can copy the whole link for this one so this one requires the entire https and all that perfect update post learn yeah. more. you'll learn more yeah learn more is is the most clicked on according to facebook which it is it is so update post and then scroll down. You always and sometimes, sometimes just something to look look out for. Just always something to look out for. As you scroll down, scroll down. The tracking. Sometimes you get to this tracking part, and that website events that box is not checked. 
So, so in this case, it is. So it's a good thing that it is, but sometimes it's not. So if it's not, check the box, and then you'll hit the drop down, and you'll find your green dot. Okay. Okay. So if the box was not checked, you would have not saw that green dot right there, right? So, so in that case, yeah, always check the box, and then hit the drop down, and find your find your 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 dot com, and Perfect. that's it. And then hit publish, and you're good to go, bro. Um, and just make sure it goes through. Um, as far as like um. Oh, your card. Yeah, you got to put this part. Oh, yeah. I I got a new card. And then the bottom blue, the bottom three of three. Yeah, you always want to make sure that goes to green. Perfect. Goes to green. If it ever gets stuck, because that happens a lot. That happens a lot where it gets stuck and it does not turn green like that. Multiple items published. It it does not turn green. In the case where it gets stuck, you just open up another tab. Go back to the ads manager. Yeah, go back to the ads manager. And then you'll push it through by clicking. Actually, just click on your right here. I think you're in your you're in your business page one. When it gets stuck, you'll see that button in the top right, review and publish. Yeah, that would be blue. And you would see the number three. And the number three is just representing each tab, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. These are your three tabs. So that blue button would say review and publish three. You click that and then you push it through there. You click on the green one and then you push it through there and then it and then it and then it publishes. Perfect. Cool. So that's your custom audiences, your custom conversion, and how to run a, a lead conversion ad from this point on, man. There it is there. Any questions on any of that? No, nah, man, I think that's pretty self. And I can that's not just for listings, that can also be for like uh seller guides or anything like that for just clothes, any stuff like that, right? That's it, bro. Like whenever you have a listing, open house, seller guide, buyer guide, just close, whatever. If I'm driving them to a landing page, yeah. it's it, it's going to be two pages. Landing page, thank you page, and your business specifically, that's it. That's all you need to take over the freaking internet. It's two freaking pages. And just always make sure you're creating a custom audience and the custom conversion around the thank you page. Gotcha. Yeah, man. I mean, as long as I get this video and I'll save it in my in my yeah. inbox, in my email, dude, I think that would be cool. Kartra, I think I got that on lockdown. If you would give me, man, um, what else can I get, though? I don't even know. What, seller guy, buyer guy? Do you have anything where I can, like, target maybe buyers and I just have them do a little questionnaire and, like, say, all right, where are you looking, whatever, boom, and then I can reach out to them that way? Yes, dude. Like, um, go to Kartra real quick. So any any questions on this part? No, man, I'm good on this, yeah. Awesome.